people still believe that there's some kind of haunting associated with the cabins. Oh, hey. And has a history of being used by witches. Oh, there's a door right there. What kind of hanging shit? Here, I don't know if we should go up here, honestly. What the fuck is that? But this time it sounded a little bit closer. God damn. I can't see the ground between us right now. Yeah, they just go up and up. A lot of stars too, because there's no city lights or anything. Yeah. Hope we're still going the right way. So we were told about a location that was in the middle of the woods uh, where this witch used to stay at, and apparently people still believe that there's some kind of haunting associated with the cabins, so we went out at night and started searching. Oh shit, the path yeah. is lit up pretty nice. Look, yeah. like even if we didn't have the flashlights, we could kind of see the trail. Different color, yeah. That's cool. Oh, you different see different really temperatures. temperatures. The yeah. trees are all like wet and shit. It's pretty tight. Like the, the dirt holds more heat than the trees because they're wet. And yeah. None of us had any idea of what this night was going to turn into. We couldn't have been prepared for what we ended up seeing. Apparently, kids used to go missing in the town like 40, what did you say, 40, 50 years ago? Yeah, like in the 60s. Um, and they all kind of blamed this woman. They said she was like a witch performing black magic type shit. We heard some rustling noises, I think typical nature stuff, but of course we're on edge because we're going out there for a very specific reason, and that's to investigate a house that supposedly has a ton of activity and has a history of being used by witches. So yeah, they all assumed that this witch or this woman was kidnapping kids from town. Oh fuck, hey, right there. Way over there. Crazy. Is it on another one there? Oh, so there's a bunch of them out here. Looks like three. I guess there's still like uh, people fucked around with this stuff too. And there's lineage too. Like she came from people that were into the same shit. Like her parents, and it's been passed on, but they don't know if it's their family members fucking around with these kids or what. You know? Yeah, witchcraft shit. I know there's a lot of videos out there titled Gone Wrong, but honestly, that's the only way you can explain this episode. Is this open? Can we get in here? Hello? in the dirt. You can barely see in there though. You can see all the way through. Did you stick your lungs there? Okay, let me stick this in there. Okay. 
Oh yeah, like a little crawl space. Weird ass place. Pretty barricaded, so I doubt that anybody would have access to that. Like the, the insulation, like. This one's got like logs holding it up and shit. Like, is this accessible? Oh, look oh at this spider. I see a massive spider, probably about a little bit smaller than the palm of my hand. Uh, what are we doing with that? We're going around the other side. Okay, cool. I'm not worried about this door anymore. Oh, fucking webs everywhere. Hello. Up in there. Wow, that shit goes way fucking up. Getting out. Ugh. Thank you, man. Whole places. Oh, there's a little hole right there. Some part living up in that shit. Oh, goddamn, yeah, it does go way up in there. Huh. I wonder. There's gotta be a point or a purpose for it to go so fucking high and be built all the way across like that. I wanna I see. Know, but this building does not look really super sound. Well, this building doesn't look like somewhere that anyone would be living either. I want to find where I mean, he's living like quarters. Building I don't, I don't know if these are just spiders, but if that was a wolf or a recluse or anything, we would be serious. Oh, we got a window here. Especially out here, yeah. we don't serve it. Yeah, this looks like maybe this could have been like a living area. Oh, definitely. Oh, wow. This is like an actual cabin. Yeah. Oh, there's a door right there. It looks like it's a jar. And we get in. And as we approached the third cabin, uh, I saw something in the grass. Oh, there's two doors. Is this like a double-sided thing? Or does this connect inside? I'm gonna look in this other window for It looks like there's a door in there. Ooh, it's got bomb bags. Okay, this one's kind of yeah. awesome too. Yo, hmm. what the fuck is that? And as I got closer, I realized that it was a dead animal. Okay. Is that a rabbit? I'm sorry, don't it was disgusting. It was nauseating. I was gagging. Colton started gagging. It's just gross, foul. I can't help it. I really can't. That's a fucking point. You alright? I'm not kind of feeling nauseous now thinking about it. And that was just compounded by the smells that were coming from the carcass itself and just the visual of all the bugs on it. Oh, bro. You see this? What? But then I saw what looked like almost a, know, a spike, like a hand-carved spike, but it had twine as a handle. It's like a fucking shank. Where? Where? Oh my god. Look at that. What the fuck? That's like a fucking homemade little dagger. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking disgusting, Fergus. <clears throat> I was apprehensive going into the cabin just because that kind of stuff's not really our thing like animal sacrifice the witch stuff I don't know it's just it freaked me out it's an area I didn't want to be in and I don't know if they're still around I don't know if they're willing to use that kind of shit on other people like it's just not something that we really fuck with. Definitely made us all a little bit uncomfortable going into the actual cabin itself. Uh, I'd yeah. say this is probably... This is already pretty uncomfortable now. Now I'm hearing shit. Hello? Cages over here. It's like chicken wire or something. I don't know. Dude, I found a Johnson. 
like trying not to fucking gag. And him gag is fucking me up too. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, right, we know that. that it's fucking <coughs> nasty. Oh, that fucking stinks in here. Oh, it's crap. Oh shit. It's like a bunch of. Like, you see right behind you? Oh, okay. There's like a bunch of steaks and twine and shit over here. <clears throat> Did you see that shit? Yeah, I saw it. Hello. Oh, dude. What you got up there? Shit. Weird shit. Like what? Like hanging shit. What kind of hanging shit? Here, I don't know if we should go up here, honestly. What? A bunch of just weird stuff hanging from the ceiling. There was like trinkets made out of sticks. Obviously, it looked like some form of witchcraft. There's like a bunch of shit hanging from the ceiling. There's jars. Hello? Careful, I don't know how scary the shoes are here. Oh, there's a fucking hole in the wall that goes to another room. Hello? You gotta see this shit. He kept saying, you know, it was really weird. I wanted to take a look, of course, so I poked my head up and saw him and just like in disbelief, like it was surreal. Like, I can't fucking believe this is actually happening. Here, come on. It's yeah. fucking weird. What the fuck? There's one. This can't be. There's two. <laughs> okay. The whole environment was just foul and disgusting. The amount of flies up there was just crazy. They're flying in your fucking eye, your ear, all over the place. <sighs> what the fuck is that? <clears throat> what is that, dude? <clears throat> the smell was so bad. I don't think that any of us could have been prepared to walk into that. Like, Just horrendously rancid remains. We don't know what's in there, but we do know that it was disgusting and it stank. This got weird real fucking quick. I can't what believe the fuck it is this. Is? I have no idea. Hey, spin that one with your foot on this on the ground. What is that? Cool. What? You gotta see this shit, dude. I don't dude. wanna see this shit. Maybe we shouldn't hang out here too long. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, let's just think about what let's we're doing. Let's go outside for a second. It was just gross, and the smell, we just wanted to get some fresh air and regroup, so that's what we did. I was is not it, expecting to see is a dead like, animal and fucking remains upstairs. Yeah, that's not like paranormal shit. Yeah, that's physical. physical. It's not in the entire grass. What do we Why do would you have that? remains of whatever that is? I know how long that's been there, too. That shit's foul, dude. It's a lot. We planned on doing all sorts of tests there. It was just really a heavy atmosphere to be in. So after we regrouped outside, we talked about going up there doing a spirit box test. And that's what we did. We went back in. Uh, we started running the spirit box. Nothing really, I think, could have prepared any of us for what we heard after we started doing the spirit box. It's fucking disgusting. We were doing a normal spirit box test up there as a group. We weren't really getting anything too clear. We thought we might have heard a couple words. Is it right? Is it right? 
What's in the jars? There was a really audible, almost like a scream or something, and it was coming from outside of the cabin. What was that? That was loud. From over here, right? Right. Hang on. We muted the spirit box and we started listening, and we heard it again, but this time it sounded a little bit closer. Yeah. That was... Oh, that was whoa, fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's getting closer. Yeah. Kill the light for a second. Hearing a scream in the middle of the woods, especially in the middle of the night, we think we're out there all alone. It clearly sounded like a woman. It clearly sounded like it was outside. That's just fucking horrifying. Yeah. It's getting closer. Yeah, kill the light for a second. Okay, okay. No, dude. yeah, no, 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 no. No, let's go. What the fuck is that? After the third or fourth scream we heard, we decided to go lights out because we were freaked. We thought whatever it was could see us because it felt like it was getting closer, like it was pursuing us almost. And then the final scream before we decided to leave sounded like it was right outside. Kill the light for a second. Okay, okay. No, yeah, no, 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 let's go. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh. God damn. Oh, it's fucking closer. That shit sounds like it's right fucking behind us. I almost dropped all the equipment trying to get out of the building. We sprinted, literally, we started running. And as we were running towards the dirt trail that we had followed all the way into this place, uh, we heard it one last time and it sounded like whatever it was, whoever it was, was literally like right behind us. God damn. Oh, it's fucking closer. That shit sounds like it's right fucking behind us. It was coming from behind us. I was the one nearest the noise. So at that point, I was operating on pure adrenaline. Oh, it's fucking closer. That shit sounds like it's right fucking behind us. We were way far away from civilization, anything. Even our car was, I don't even know how many miles down the road. I stopped recording. We just wanted to get out of there. We went there with the intent of doing a full investigation. Went there with like a pretty positive attitude. Hopefully we'd get something interesting, some sort of evidence. And we got a lot more than that. So it just wasn't an option to stay there. What was that? That was loud. From over here, right? Right. Hang on. Yeah. It's getting closer. Yeah, kill the light for a second. Oh, 
Okay. No, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. No, no let's go. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh. Oh, it's fucking closer. That shit sounds like it's right fucking behind us. Knowledge is power, and I look like I got the upper hand. Oh, yeah. Plus, I gotta keep it moving. 